Hey guys, welcome to Everyday Family Adventure. I'm Trent. And I'm Siobhan. And we're so glad you're joining us today. This is a special episode because we've just spent a lot of time at the Tampa, Flor I'm sorry, Florida in Tampa. The Florida Super... RV. I'm totally gonna mess this up. Florida RV Super Show. There you go. <laughs> it is in Tampa and it's at the Florida State Fairgrounds and we were there for two days. Yeah. We saw several RVs. We met a lot of people. We did a lot of talking. That's, just... I think for us, the bigger reason why we go is we yeah. want to meet people who, you know, like love this, you know, like we do. Yeah, and in a sea of retired people, we see, you know, it's easy for us to spot other families that yeah. are RVing and stuff. So other that's always adventurers. fun. adventurers, yes. Um, we did meet some retirees as well. And I mean, we just love the RVing community. And so it was just a blast to get to talk to people. And a lot of our subscribers, a lot of you guys, our friends, yeah. this is what was really cool to, to meet up with people who've been watching for a while now. Yeah, and awesome. meeting new people yeah. that we are now subscribed to. Yeah. And um, so we had a ton of fun. We didn't get to see everything. That's the problem. Unless you go all week, you're gonna, I mean, you're gonna see just a small portion of what's out there because there's hundreds of RVs there. Right. So, but this time we went with the purpose of finding family friendly motorhomes. So, like I said, there's a ton to see at the RV show. There's all kinds of RVs, but for us, we enjoy motorhoming. Yeah. That, it works the best for our family. It works the best for our travel style because we travel a lot and it's kind of like all contained. And so we went specifically this year to see what was new in motorhoming for families. So today we're gonna look at some more family style coaches. This is the American Dream bunkhouse model. And so it's got sleeping for more than your average luxury coach. It's got like super soft leather, which I love, but I see that as kind of a negative because my kids would destroy it in half a minute. The MSRP on this is $430,999. It's got a residential refrigerator, which has some kind of locks on it, which is kind of cool. Residential refrigerator with a bottom freezer. I'm not going to open that because I've locked it. It's got a really nice dishwasher. Every family RVing needs one of these. I want one of these. Can I have one of these? Yes. Thank you. Two burner induction cooktop. This is probably a convection oven. Yep. A double sided sink. You've got your television here in the living room that you can watch at the same time as you watch your television on that side of the living room. And there's probably one behind me too. Are you making fun of televisions again? I room? am. We, ha we need to recreate by watching television. This, uh, this coach only has one bathroom, but it's got three entrances, one from the kitchen area, one from the bunk room area, and one that goes into the master bedroom. It has a, it has a nice stand-up shower, and... Here would be my problem. Like, I always do this. You're in the bathroom, you're like, I've got to go to the bathroom. And so I'm like, oh, i got to lock this door. Oh, i got to lock this door, too. But inevitably... I forget to lock the other door. So there's three doors you gotta remember to lock when you're in the bathroom. <laughs> Somebody would come in. And if you come in here, you've got a two bunk bunk room. I believe that this couch, yes, this couch is actually an air bed. So it opens up and has an air mattress that comes out. So it definitely sleeps six. And I don't know about the dinette, if that will change into a bed. This room fully closes off the bunk room, which is nice. Closes off from the master. And it, which you've got a king size bed, it looks like. Really tight corners here. And it is on a slide. Another television. And you've got a washer and dryer stackable here. And some nice closet space. Nice big closet space cedar-lined closets, touch of luxury there. 
One thing that I think is really unique about this coach and is something that I kind of wish we had in our rig, um, it's a safety feature. If you see this beautiful shelf that we have here, it looks like a shelf and you can put your stuff on it, but this is actually an emergency exit door. This whole thing pops out, goes down and becomes stairs so that if you are trapped in this back bedroom that we've already noticed doesn't really have any windows, um, you have an emergency exit that's easy to get out. I like this because it's like luxury RV, but without the million dollar plus price tag. There are very little windows. The only windows you have is that one tiny window in the slide. Not oh. enough for me, but it might be for other people. So if you are a family who wants more of a luxury style rig without the huge price tag of the million dollar plus, nice amount of space for your kids to sleep, this is a good idea. 420,000 base price, not too bad. So here we are in the Numar Dutch Star. This is a 43 foot diesel pusher. And we're in the back right now. We're in the master bathroom. And you can see this beautiful, huge shower with like the rain shower head there. And it's got a double vanity sink. Um, it's got really nice um, like storage back here in this big wardrobe. Lots of space for all your clothes. Then right here, right on the entry to the bathroom is the washer and dryer, stackable. In the master bedroom, you have opposing slides and this nice big king size bed. Lots of room between the end of the bed that you can walk around. Your own television, more storage, lots more storage and pocket doors obviously you step into the main area and you've got a residential size fridge and a lighted pantry with sliding drawers which is really nice and then there's a half bath across the hall a really cute glass bowl sink we got two bathrooms two bathrooms one and a half yeah. But it's nice because then it's your, like guests, guest your guests don't have to go into your master bathroom, which is nice. I'm sure it does. Yeah, I know. And you've got a dinette. This coach comes with Keith Sims. This coach comes with Keith Sims. I want it desperately. I love this coach. It is incredible. Yeah. And it comes with Tia Sims, too. She just comes stock in the coach. <laughs> got a nice well, solid countertops. <laughs> Two burner <laughs> induction <laughs> stovetop. So you're going to show them the coolest thing in this This is RV. the coolest thing in this RV. If you turn around here, this was a couch and it is now a bunk bed. How cool is that? Transformer couch to bunk bed. Perfect for families. And then right across from it you have another uh, sofa that f kind of folds out into a bed, a jackknife sofa. And oh, one other really cool thing that this RV has is oh it won't open oh there it is got it the dishwasher what every RVing family needs because we're constantly doing dishes because we don't keep tons of dishes and so we just wash them all the time so but yeah this is really nice I, I like it so once again this is the Numar Dutch Star and if you are a family of six, this coach would be perfect for you because you have sleeping for six, seating for six with seat belts, and it's just a really nice high-end coach. Really, really well done. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the new Thor Aria 4000. I'm gonna start in the back since there's people hanging out up in the front. But here we are in the bathroom. There's a double sink and lots of nice storage, control panels, and the closets here. Look at this. This is pretty cool. You've got his storage. Look at all that bathroom stuff you can fit in there. Like you need all that, but who knows? We probably wouldn't be able to fill the cabinets just like we don't in our own. So, but they're his and hers storage cabinets in the bathroom they're huge they're deep they're like 
probably two and a half feet deep. And then you've got a nice little drawer here. And like I said, this little kind of medicine cabinet. Then you have all of these drawers and storage under here as well. And you don't have to take up all the storage with your trash can because you have a trash can behind your toilet. Right there, nice nifty little place for a trash can. Um, it's got a porcelain commode, which is really nice. Then in the bedroom, king size bed that tilts up during the day, so you have all this floor space. And then a nice wardrobe, very, very large wardrobe. I don't know if you guys can see how big that is, but it's massive. And out here is the second bathroom in the hallway. And it has a full shower and a bathtub for those of you with little ones, which I think is really convenient. You don't see that very often. Um, you've got glass tile backsplash, which is beautiful. A nice small little sink. And this bathroom is actually in the bunk room area. And this bunk room can shut off completely from the master bedroom with a pocket door and from the main living space with a pocket door. Here's your bunks. A nice, long, full bunk. Each one has its own window and shades. Each one has its own television. Down on the end there. Kids will be happy as clams. Here's another pantry space with pull-out cabinets that I think are awesome. Then you've got in the kitchen your washer and dryer stackable units and a full-size residential refrigerator, convection oven, two induction burners. You have a double sink. I mean, they fit it all in 40 feet. I cannot believe it. Then over here you have like a pull-out chopping block, a nice solid surface countertop. Here's yet another bed and another bed with a, I mean this is a massive dinette, huge. Like this table is like and what do you have now? maybe four feet wide. It's a massive, massive dinette and it turns into a nice big bed. And then overhead here behind me over top of the driver and passenger seats is another bed that comes down um, okay. and that's on like so it's electronic so really easy really simple nice leather seating um, you know your typical RV controls there is a backup camera and a GPS that comes in there as well and this RV with all that comes with it, starts at two ninety eight. dollars um, The Super Show price is two nineteen. dollars $219, you can get a beautiful coach that sleeps 10 and has all the bells and whistles possible. I mean, really, like, they did not leave anything out. It's amazing. While we're talking about family-friendly RVs, we just showed you a huge RV that sleeps 10. Well, here's a little tiny RV that amazingly still sleeps six. This is the Heimer Active 2.0 Loft Edition, and it's brand new. And you can see above me right here, you guys can see, I can't see. There's a loft bed up here with an actual mattress. There's two seat belts here and this seat that comes down into a bed. You come back here and it's got a full wet bath for your showers and bathroom needs. You've got two burner camp stove under here, a sink, and back here you have this little bed that comes down. You can also get this in like, I think there's, I think there's two sofas that you can get back here that turn into a bed also and then you get more seat belts is what I was told. So you can seat belt up to six in here, you can sleep up to six in here. Amazing. Very nice. <laughs> so there it is. A bunch of really cool new motorhomes that we saw. And there was a bunch of other really cool ideas and things that we saw that 
we thought were cool, but for the purposes of this channel and the fact that we really want to try to focus on families and what fits us and those types of things, we just didn't really feel like it would work to do a really good review of those types of things. Um, but to say that we had a lot of fun and we saw some really, really great stuff out there. I'm, I was very pleased with this show in comparison to the other shows because I felt like there was more new, innovative things to look at. There were also some Class C's there and Class C's are great motorhomes too for families because they offer a lot of sleeping capacity with a little footprint. Right. Um, not as small as the Class B's, but for family style, if you're going to state parks and things like that, you can often get in there with a smaller Class C and still have enough room for your family. But we just didn't have enough time at this show to tour any. So we're going to finish out with our Believer Bump today. Believer Bump! Boom! Boom. This week's Believer Bump is from the Free Family. Oh, I like them already. I like the name. That's yes. really cool. And they said, I love that you haven't driven the motorhome before either, Siobhan. <laughs> I know my time is coming. She is still so <laughs> nervous about doing it. I had her like back up, like at the other campground. I did it. Here. She did it. She did I a great did job. Because really really I know the basics now. I think that's what's important is I know the basics and I know that I won't be completely stranded if something were to happen and I had to drive our rig. I'm not going to be doing like parallel parking or anything like <laughs> that yet. Parallel parking in the rig. You probably could. You're no. good. You're good like that. <laughs> um, anyways, the rest of the comment says, I know my time is coming that I need to drive ours, but I am nervous. I will have to practice soon though. Ah, I'm so glad that I could inspire you. I, I did have fun. I almost didn't do it. You guys, I was so close to just telling my friend Skip, like, I just so want to do it but yes but I knew well, I had to overcome my fear I, I just had to just do it that's what you do with fear you just do what you don't want to do and you realize that you can do a lot of things that you don't think you can right and I mean kind of you think about like the whole RVing thing in general like especially for us if you're thinking of like full timing I mean even to take a long trip that's that's overcoming a fear in and of itself yeah. You know, to take your family or if you're retired, if you, if you want to, if you're single, if you want to do something that just gets you out of the, the box, mm -hmm. like that's kind of overcoming fear in and that's of itself. That's a huge that, yeah, and, fear. And you know, that's if a you're huge doing that, we faith. applaud you because it's, these are the things that we want to embrace is saying, you know what, do one thing every day that scares you. I love that quote. Yeah. That's my favorite. And and it's so true because like the more things you do, the more you find out you can do. Oh, and the more exhilarating it gets. Yeah. Yeah, and you want to do more. So, guys, we're doing more. We have a lot more stuff coming up in January still. Lots um, of fun. We're back in Florida. This is so exciting and we have to redeem a little bit of Florida. We've got to go to the beach. We didn't go, to the, go to the beach last year. Like, what was I've up I've got to go to a state park because the state parks here in Florida are amazing. I've seen pictures, I've heard stories, and I still have not been to one yet. Yeah, so leave your comments below if you recommend your favorite state park in Florida. Yes. The other thing that we need is that our boys really want to go to a beach that has, like, shells at it. And we're talking like not just little shells, which would be cool, but we're talking like big shells. So let yeah, us know like if you know of one. Sand dollars or conch shells. Yeah, or things the things like that, that little boys are like, oh, look, I'm going to put hundreds of these in my room, <laughs> in my RV. Yay. Maybe I can get them to trade out some of their rock collection. Oh my goodness. Or their Legos. Legos for shells. Legos are a lot lighter than shells. I'll though. take the I don't Legos. Mind the I don't mind the Legos. It's the rocks. Oh, yeah. So, and then February, we're heading to Louisiana. Yep. We'll be there for a couple months. And so, if anybody's there in Louisiana or the surrounding states close by and you would love to have us for a house show, we would love to come. Yeah. These house shows are really good. And I'll take a minute to say, if you guys don't know anything about our Patreon page, this is a great way for you to find out what Siobhan and I do. And... This is a lot of fun. It's just this. It's our music. It's what we do best. It's what we love to do, and uh, and we've got a lot of stuff coming up. So if you're interested in having us come out, we know we've got to redeem New Orleans. Yes, we do. We're going back to New Orleans. We've got to. Last year, so if you're we were anywhere all near so there, sick. <laughs> yeah, you guys got to watch that. We'll link it below or up above. Over there. Over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So 
Lots of fun stuff coming up, guys. Thank you for being a part of our channel. Thank you for being a part of our lives and for all of you guys that came out to the RV show to see us. That was a lot of fun and we're so grateful to have met you. Can't wait to see you again. And we're gonna let you guys go today. So remember, we can make the world better. I believe we can. Bye, guys. Bye.